three things. First, why do we think you are so special? Because you have the right to cause unnecessary, tormented amount of suffering. So worse that you don't can even imagine. Second, if others pose out what you are doing, why do you still making excuses? Why do you not anything in your power to don't be a part of it anymore? Last one. How, if you are knowing it, the things you are doing, why do you still make excuses for it? And how? It's so mind blowing. Can you expect others to respect you on the day that I learn it, all the stuff and now know about the animal agriculture industry? I did switch. I was six when I did hear it. And where was and then told all the stuff of the negativities. Then I did change on that moment because I don't want to cause unnecessary suffering. Why should you? Place your ego away, people. Because an ego in this in this kind of situations is useless. Place yourself a set of that you look at from your position, from the victim's position. Are you against rape? I think you are. If you, are you against raping dogs? I think you also are. So why is it okay to rape cows and steal their babies? So you can steal their milk. Culture is no good excuse for cruelty, you know? Slavery is okay. Is it Arabia? It is okay to beat your wife? In the time of apartheid, South Africa, black women cannot be legally raped. They can be raped, but the law did not call it rape. This world has a large amount of fucked up laws, so don't come up with the law argument. And it did have even more fucked up laws in the past. Laws are shield to protect the innocent. More than they should protect the guilty. But in this time it seems to be the other way around. In a lot of cases. I know woman here in Europe where I live. How are beaten, their ribs broken, and when they did go to the cops, the cops did say that she basically did lie to make her uh, her uh, boyfriend or husband or all of their married look bad. So for all the people that think that women here in Europe have it so good, I know not one, but I know more than one of those stories. Yes, if you are from Turkey or some other country of where the immigrants come from, yes, often you are being treated better, and you can scheme sometimes men out of money. But of the stories I have heard, the laws are maybe there to protect them, but they are not enforced. When it comes to native, <sighs> most of the time. If that person I know did go to the to the cops with a broken jaw because her boyfriend was beating her up. 
and the cops were not often doing it and saying that she probably did um, break her own jaw to make her businessman husband slash boyfriend I don't know if I'm married again look bad Don't come up if you are uh, just one example. I don't care about it. You are one example. I you know at least five of those cases where I was talking about. And I don't know so much people. So. If you are against that kind of stuff. Why do you not being against all abuse? Specifically when it is not necessary. Specifically when you can do something against this. Specifically that the only thing you have to do is instead of that you buy the dairy of cows, you buy the onion milk or the rice milk or the hazelnut milk. Instead of you buying corpses, that you so you can basically call meat, you buy the plant-based meats that are made from tofu, not from dismembered corpses and tendons, but plants on soy, like beans. Chick beans. Black beans. And all those goods. How would the right spices and the right herbs in the right amounts can make that taste the same as you are used to be? You only have to learn different varieties of spices to use. Does because so just go here and stop making excuses.